Hi, and welcome to In the Garden. I'm horticulturist Greg Lusk here at the Amarillo Botanical Gardens. Today we're going to talk about succulents. We're going to show you how to pot up and prepare for a pot of succulents and how to choose a container and the design and all of that and the aftercare as well. Succulents are a great choice for the homeowner. They're easy to care for. They're good for uh, good gardeners or new beginning gardeners alike. Uh, they're very forgiving but very very rewarding. Well, we'll start with the container. This container I chose is kind of a stone container. It's kind of a contemporary style. You could really use absolutely anything for succulents. I would choose uh, something kind of low. Most succulents are kind of low growing. Uh, keep your, your perspective in mind, the height of the container to the height of the plant. You don't want to have a big, tall container and have short little stumpy plants in it, it your perspective's all off. So uh, if the good rule is if the container is six inches tall, go with something in the middle of the, the highest plant, nine to 12 inches is a good perspective for it. Um, when choosing the plants, if you're looking for more of an English style of succulent, choose the, the thick foliage, uh, succulents that can take a little bit more water and take a little shade or you can choose succulents more like cactus uh, that are more drought tolerant and more desert looking it just depends on what you like but they don't mix real well so succulents like these uh, like a little more water than cactus um, and so uh, once you've selected those you, you need to choose some heights they vary in color shape leaf texture here's a nice uh, jade plant here's two one's variegated and one's got this fantastic uh, blue color um, here's the rosette this echevia that's very nice it's kind of a plum color this reddish is really nice there's always room for something to spill over the side this is called uh, dolphins it's a great one you can use cuttings in a pot they the uh, succulents root really well, real easily. So I use quite a few cuttings in pots because they're really easy to stick in and they will root on their own pretty well if you just take care of them halfway. So you selected your container um, and then you just want to make sure it's got a drain hole, a nice drain hole. Put something over that drain hole. I like to use just a piece of Jiffy Pot, a piece of um, a coffee filter works. It's something to keep the soil from washing out. Um, I like to use a good quality potting soil. This is a miracle grow. The succulent and cactus mix is a little too free draining and dry for our climate. A lot of people like to use it. It's great for it's great for cactus, but for succulents, it's a little dry for our climate. We we dry out quickly, as you know. So something that retains a little more moisture is better. Succulents are better off kept just uh, slightly moist, never allowed to just dry out bone dry. They can get dry, but they're best not to allow to get bone dry. Um, then you, you can arrange the plants and see how you like and then go from there or you can just jump in there and, and go with it. I'm going to set this taller one over here rather than the middle. I'm going to set it about uh, a third of the way over. Just inspect the plant. This one has a hole in the leaf. That doesn't heal. So go ahead and remove that and set the plant just slightly deeper than it was in the pot. I'm going to, we have kind of the same bluish colors here, but the texture of the foliage is completely different. This chalk stem makes a great addition. Um, it'll get some height. It's controllable. You can pinch the top to keep the height from getting too tall. But it'll work really here, nicely here, um, to give a different texture. Try this one here. If uh, you start getting a little bit crowded, uh, it's hard to put the roots in. You can remove some of the soil. Succulents are very forgiving. I'm going to remove some of that so I can put it right here on the edge and without moving that chalk stick over. I like to plant my plantings pretty tight. Um, you can just put a couple in here and you'd be fine. 
But um, I like them to look thin when they're done to display. They always look best like that. Let's select a different color. This red color is really great here. Next to these, you can use a spoon. Not room for a trowel in this small container, so a spoon works well. Maybe we can use a couple of these. These have a great kind of a bright green center with that fantastic uh, plum color. Foliage contrasts well and complements the, the uh, hen and chick right here. So this is a really fun one. This is a new one I, I got from Mountain States. Uh, it's, it's kind of white, very much white. So it's another color of the kind of the bluish white. I'm going to put it out here on the end as an accent. It's a cutting, but it will it will root easily and do really well right there. Green is always a good choice. I like green. Uh, green's a great color. Green will brighten this up. This is kind of a limey bright green. It will do a lot to add uh, another color to this and a nice another nice rosette form. And then this nice peach color, kind of bronzy peach, uh, is a great a great addition in color here for this. And it's just the cutting. So instead of breaking the stem by pushing it in, I'm going to make a hole and then just use that hole that I created to poke that in. Finally, I'm going to add this, this trailer over the edge here. This, this is a great one. It will take right off. It will root. If you, you think you need some more of it over here on the other side, you can pinch it off and stick it in. It will quickly root and, uh, and work real well finish it off with a little this variegated shade in the back here. This is actually made to be viewed from all sides. I'm going to set it on the picnic table where it'll set all summer. It's going to be under trees so it's going to get plenty of light. It's going to be dappled light. Succulents really don't like uh, full sun. They can sunburn. And once they sunburn they don't really heal from it. Their new growth can right and work done but most succulents are grown in a house or a greenhouse and stuff and they're they're really tender to a lot of direct sun so I would keep them uh, out of direct sun there's no problem with the, the dappled sun that comes from the trees um, if you were going to put something out in the direct sun uh, you know they, these can take morning sun but not all afternoon uh, you can use cactus cactus work well um, and some of your cactus-like succulents. You just need to do a little research and see what works in the full sun. Now, to finish it off, uh, you can either put uh, colored pebbles, uh, work really nice, add another element of color and texture. With pebbles, you can go with earth colors or uh, colored uh, pebbles that are nice. Um, this is a little more English looking with the choices I made. So a little bit of uh, just green moss really works well to kind of finish it up. Just tuck it in to where you can see some of uh, the bare earth soil here and uh, it'll kind of just finish it off. And the plants will quickly cover it up. There, this, this pot's going to be full uh, quickly, but this keeps it, gives it just a finished look and uh, makes it look nice and like you kind of went the extra step. So there we have the finished product. I think it's nice. It, uh, it'll do well the entire summer and uh, make a great display. And then in the fall, you can take cuttings. Watering. Everybody has a lot of questions on watering. Watering should be done, uh, you should water it in now, water it well, and then water about once a week. Um, at least that often for succulents in our area. You don't want to keep them soggy for sure. That's why this good quality potting soil will drain quickly, but it will also hold up the moisture so the plants don't completely dry out. Um, if it rains significantly, you don't have to water, but remember, lots of times container plants 
fill up the container and their leaves actually shed a lot of water and they don't get a benefit from a rain or if they're under a covered patio or something just because it rained they're not going to get it so watch your watering keep it just damp uh, and not soggy but not too dry and you should have really good luck with this for this entire growing season uh, remember garden fest is april the 29th that's a saturday from 8 30 until it's close out there'll be a lot of vendors here at garden fest there'll be some great geraniums herbs for sale all kinds of gift basket ideas and so don't want you don't want to miss that out on that there'll be a food truck and coffin memorial will be here to take donations which a donation will get you in free uh, otherwise it's only five dollars to get in and it's just going to be a great day to celebrate gardening here at the Amarillo Botanical Gardens so we hope we'll see you then